Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 118 for the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to use the new circular slideshow widget. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up a blank new document, and then let's go ahead and go to the Designs Gallery, go ahead and lock that panel, and I'm going to resize this panel so that we can see all the text. And we're going to look for the folder that says Page Elements and Widgets, left click that, then look for the folder that says photo elements and widgets left click that and then look for the folder that says photo slideshows widgets and go ahead and left click that and then it's going to bring up a series of thumbnails and you're going to look for the thumbnail that has a circular photo and has the text that says new circular slideshow and let's go ahead and drag that into our workspace and close out the designs gallery and then go ahead and go to your page and layer gallery and go ahead and lock that panel and then let's go ahead and double left click on this thumbnail in our workspace. And that's going to take us to edit mode for this particular slideshow. And you'll see that there's like a note card on screen that kind of gives you some instructions on how to edit this slideshow. But I'm going to assume that you already know how to, you know, change photos and things like that, especially if you watch some of my previous tutorials because I kind of go through that process. So let's skip number one step and let's go to step number two. In step number two, it says click on each image to change the address link. And if you remember from previous photo slideshows um, that I've done tutorials on, such as the Nevo slider, we weren't actually able to link to any part of our website and we weren't able to link to external websites as well. But with the new circular slideshow, we can actually link to pages within our website or on a, an external website. So let's go ahead and left click on this first photo and you'll notice that it brings up an option that says link to. And if we click on the option that says change, it brings up our web properties dialog and we can actually add a link. So we could link to, let's say, google.com and then just hit apply and hit OK. And if we wanted to link to something within our web page, let's click on the second thumbnail here, click on change again. And this time, let's go to link to. And we can actually click on the drop down menu and select the page within our website. In this case, I'll choose page index hit apply and OK and we're done. So that's how you complete step number two. For step number three we have what we call pause and transition. Pause is basically how long that image is going to remain on screen before it transitions to the next slide. The transition time is how long the transition effect will last till it reaches the next slide. So you can go ahead and you know double left click on either one of these and enter in a different numeric value and it would adjust that time frame. But I'm going to leave it to the defaults that XR automatically sets it to. For step number four, you have your transition effect. And if you set it to zero, it would fade. If you set it to one, it would fade zoom. If you set it to two, it would shuffle. If you set it to three, it would toss. But in this case, I'm going to leave it again to the defaults. You can kind of experiment and see which effect you like the most. And actually, I'm going to change it to phase zoom because I kind of like phase zoom so I'm going to set it to number one but I'm not going to go over the rest of these transition effects I just wanted to give you a general overview of how to make edits to this new circular slideshow widget so once you have everything set go ahead and hit the X option in your tab here and close that out and it's going to ask you do you want to save the changes and of course you do if you want to save the changes hit save and then after that let's go ahead and preview this in our web browser so go to file preview web page and let's go ahead and watch this circular slideshow transition and as you can see it kind of fades in and it also zooms in to the photo so what about the links once it gets back to the first image I'll click on the link and it'll actually take you to Google so now that, that image is up if I left click on that you'll see that it took us to google.com so that's how you edit a circular slideshow within XR. If you have any questions, please let me know. And don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.